Metro bus could soon be a free ride. A proposal unveiled today would get rid of Metro bus fares in D.C. The goal is to make it easier for people to start using public transportation. But of course, there are costs and questions with the idea. Fox 5's Tom Fitzgerald live tonight in Metro Center. Uh, Fitz, how soon could this realistically start? Well, if the free Metro bus proposal is approved by the D.C. Council, these free rides could start in July, but it's going to cost D.C. $43 million that it would have to pay to Metro in order to make this happen. Now, the bill would also create a 24-hour service along 12 bus lines in D.C. Now, the goal of all this, the supporters say, is to get people onto the system more frequently and increase ridership on Metro as a whole. Now, while this would only be for Metro bus, the legislation does still keep alive that idea of creating a $100 stipend possibly down the road that people could use for Metro Rail as well. Now, Fox 5 spoke to a lot of Metro bus riders about this. We generally found a lot of support for this idea. However, some people even added they think that this proposal could eliminate fare evasion by eliminating fares altogether. No, that, that is a brilliant idea. Exceptional. Because a lot of our lovely residents would just walk past anyway. Well, I do know that like a lot of people get on the bus and just don't pay anyway. I think there has to be some sort of limits. Yeah. I don't know what it would be, but yes, there, there are always pros and cons to everything. Now, the bill's co-sponsors and the council, Council President Phil Mendelson and Councilman Charles Allen, says that this could be a game changer in their view, not only for all D.C. residents, but especially people who are struggling to pay their bills. Now, during the news conference announcing all of this today, Council President Phil Mendelson pushed back on a question about safety concerns related to this and said that he wasn't worried about Metro buses being turned into some kind of rolling 24-hour homeless shelter if they were to suddenly get rid of fares. It might diminish because uh, what I've learned over the years is that if you attract more riders, if you attract more people, that tends to kind of discourage folks who just want to be isolated and sort of, you know, sleep on the back seat if the back seat's kind of taken up with riders. So in a statement to Fox 5, Metro support uh, was pretty clear in this writing today that these are big, bold concepts in their views, that this will encourage ridership throughout the region. And they say they look forward to working with the mayor and council on this idea. We should tell you, we also reached out to some surrounding jurisdictions around D.C. Fairfax County came back to us and said, you know, look, we have a lot of different programs to help people get on Metro buses. However, they are going to stick with the proposals they already have right now. This is going to go to the council for a vote, Jim, on Tuesday.